Hello and thanks for viewing. I'm Katherine Wimmer, Professional Counselor with the Division of Student Engagement at LSUA. And joining me today are Ms. Haley Malone, who is the Student Life Coordinator at LSUA, Mr. Matthew Benham, who is a senior majoring in psychology, Mr. Cody Hamilton, who is a senior majoring in communication studies, and to his right, Ms. Brandy Hemphill, who is a senior education and English major here at LSUA. Thank you all for coming today and agreeing to this discussion about crafting a professional profile for your professional resume. Each of you are going to be entering, hopefully, the job field um, in May upon graduation, and you'll be crafting a resume that's going to help you land that dream job that we here in the Division of Student Engagement want you to land. So let's get started. Um, Haley's going to start off by asking a question for each of you to answer and um, it's going to involve you thinking of transferable skills that we're going to highlight on your resume. So, All right, Cody. So what experiences at LSUA have helped you develop skills that you think will enhance your career options? I would say being a student ambassador, also starting my own, uh, my own organization. It has helped me form leadership skills, helped me form organization skills, and also helped me form decision-making skills. And it helped me grow as a person here at LSUA through those experiences. Okay. Brandy, what skills have you developed that will help you? Mine definitely came from being a senior peer mentor and also being a, pen, a mentor from the bottom up. I learned a lot of problem solving. I have students who come to me with all kinds of problems and I have to think about how to help them solve those. I also learned how to make lesson plans and how to follow through with those and how important it is. And then I also learned about teaching, just teaching the class so that when I get into my English classes, I will already know what to expect from the students and what I'm capable of. All right, and Matt, your skills? Um, I would say the activities that have probably pushed me most is when I was part of my practicum for, in the LSUA Center of Academic Success. Having to deal with so many people, I think, kind of helped me with my intra uh, intrapersonal skills, my critical thinking and leadership. I think also having so many people from around the world has given me a wide network of those who I can contact and talk to as I go later on in life. Very good. Great answers. Okay, as you can hear, all of these panel uh, participants here today are strong leaders on our campus and they're actively engaged in campus organizations, whether it's academic or through their major, are just branching out on their own, as Cody did here, and in taking the initiative to form um, a brand new organization for our, our uh, black leadership here on campus. So these are all transferable skills. All of the skills that you just mentioned are strong transferable skills that we want to engage you continually through the semester and next semester so that you can continue to enhance your hireability um, in the future. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to ask Haley Malone, who is also an LSUA alumni, to read her professional profile from her re job resume that landed her the current <laughs> job she has. Yeah, so my professional profile states that I'm eager to bring college students into the 21st century using a unique combination of educational and hands-on experiences, coupled with new popular ideas in higher education and English. I'm ambitious and skilled in English literature with a concentration in Southern Lit, marketing, sales, education, and event planning. I also have broad experiences and a comprehensive understanding of marketing strategies and sales. I also have functional skills, which include I'm motivated, confident, multitasking, creative, and energetic. So the question is, would you hire her? Oh. And I can answer that affirmatively because <laughs> I was on the hiring team that interviewed and, and read Haley's resume. And I can tell you that her professional profile, which is the first statement on her resume, um, is was so effective that she was put in the... Uh, 
the top candidates stack and that's what we want for you when it's time for your job search so please come and join us next week on tuesday september the 26th at 12 30 or Wednesday, October 4th at 12 o'clock in Mulder, room 221, where we will have an hour-long workshop to help you develop a professional profile. And we're also gonna focus on your experience and your education, any awards and recognitions that you've received while a student in here at LSUA to help you be able to market yourself effectively upon your graduation. And we want you to land that great entry-level job. Also, please consider coming, taking that resume and bringing it to our annual fall job fair, which will be on Wednesday, October 11th from 9 to 2 in the Brumfield Cafe Ballroom on campus. Please come and join us. We'd love to have you at both the workshops and the job fair. And thank you everyone today for mm -hmm. stepping in and helping us focus on how to write a professional summary for your resume.